we are still continuing with our topic growth and development and lastly we looked at how the growth and, and the development graph can be drawn if we measure one of the parameters of growth and so we found that in most organisms if the, the graph is drawn then it brings a curve which is s like that the curve which is called sigmoid growth curve sigmoid growth curve but in this sigmoid growth curve does not apply in all organisms we have some organisms which will bring another different type of a curve this is because in different organisms we have growth occurring at a different time so for this curve this one means growth occurs throughout the life of the organism but in some organisms like the insect In some organisms like the insect, that is the arthropods, uh, we have growth occurring at um, in, uh, in periods which is prevented by exoskeleton. So, some uh, in insect, the arthropods, they have uh, exoskeleton. This exoskeleton usually, uh, usually hinder development, so the development in these organisms occurs only when the exoskeleton is shed, and this process of shedding the exoskeleton is called the ecdysis or the multi. So ecdysis or the multi. So we have seen that the ecdysis or the molting process is a pro process by which the exoskeleton in these organisms is shed to uh, allow growth to occur. So if we take uh, parameters of growth, for example, volume change, in these organisms we are going to get a different type of a curve called, called intermittent. It is called the inter intermittent growth curve the intermittent growth curve is like this we take the parameter of growth we draw the parameter of growth again this time in g volume again this time in days and we are going to get such a curve. This one is a curve which is now called the intermittent growth curve. During this time, this one is the time when growth occurs, growth, growth phase. And this one is the time of uh, where the growth is not occurring, the inter month base so this curve is due to uh, the fact the fact that growth in these organisms does not occur continuously it occurs when only the exoskeleton is shed so we, we have found that we have those two types of uh, growth curves the sigmoid curve and the intermittent Curve. During this again the intermittent the, the intermittent phase uh, the growth occurs but the tissues do not expand and so there is no growth during that uh, in, during that period and that one uh, takes up us to the end of our curves and so now we look at growth and development in plants. Let us look at growth and development. So let us now look at growth and development in plants and before we look at that we will look at the structure of a seed. Of a seed. So we all know a seed, I know that is not something new to you. A seed contains so many features. One, we have a tester. 
the delta has got two layers. One, then C, hot, and it, it is also the main. The, the syndicals is the outer part of the scene, so this one is the outer part. And it is handa. While the third man is the inner part of the seat, inner layer, and it is dinner. So those are the two covering of the seat. These ones prevent the entry of bacteria, fungi, and any other microorganism that might get into the seed. Again, the seed has got a scar, which is called, the scar which is also called the hilum. The hilum is where the seed was attached to the seed stock. And then the seed still contains the cotyledons. The cotyledon in a seed might be one or two. A seed with only one cotyledon is called the mono, monocot, and the seed with two cotyledons is called the dicot. Still, the seed has got the dicot. It has got also the chromium. And so we are going to look at different types of seed in diagram. Again, we have a seed which has got the endosperm. The endosperm. And others are none. Non-endospermic seeds are the seeds without the endosperm. Non-endospermic seeds are usual. They are usually swollen because they store their food in the seed. But the endospermic seeds have got the endosperm where they store their uh, food. So let us look at the diagram of these two types of seeds, the monopod seed and the dipod seed. So these are, uh, these are the different types of seed that we have. This one is a dicotrinonal seed. In jeans, the beans. This one is monocotyledonous. Seeds. In the maize. So in maize we have endosperm, but in beans we don't have the endosperm, and therefore the bean, the bean seed is usually because it is those food in there, the seed. So this one, we have seen the seed has got the seed tester. This one is the seed tester. We have also seen that the seed has got the scar where it was attached. So this one is the scar, which is also called the hilum. This one is the microphone. The, the purpose of this small hole is to allow water and oxygen to get into the seed. And then this one is a monocotyledonous seed. This one is a here. This one is the position of the chromium, the position of the radical of chromium. Version of the radical. And in this one, this one is a version of the union. Of the of the radical. So uh, for today, we have looked at the, the third calf, that intermittent calf in those uh, arthropods, for example, the orcas or the grasshopper. And I hope you have uh, noted that in those organisms, uh, the growth does not occur throughout their life. It only occurs when the exoskeleton in them is uh, shed, a process called ecdysis of the multi and then we have looked at the structures of different seeds the monocotyledonous seeds 
uh, in the day called Redo Nasir. And we have seen that it has, in the scenes have got all these features. This one marks the end of our lesson today. Let us meet next time.